so what we will see in this demonstration is a resource manager which is a terraform service from oracle cloud infrastructure let's get started under developer services click on stacks a stack is an implementation of your terraform project which you can create from scratch you can use existing examples and templates you can pull the data from github if your terraform is on your github repository so let's create a stack these are the options a stack is nothing but a terraform configuration that you can use to provision and manage your oci resources my configuration or a template i'm going to use a ready template that will that will help me which will be easy for me and template means uh, there will be many default values which will come from my account and other values it will ask me so we'll use the terraform uh, select an oracle provided template to provide or uh, private template so let's select the template so these are the templates available like template name is predict the result of next race with oracle red bull racing machine learning hands-on lab no i don't want any of these things i want rather a wordpress instance or uh, i think i should go for uh, e-commerce website that is better simple e-commerce website so let's create a simple e-commerce application which is always free deploy a simple e-commerce application uh, on this machine so it will launch a machine it will create a complete stack which is a systematic workflow of multiple components so creating a database creating an instance for web server then configuring the e-commerce application everything will be done by terraform so this is the e-commerce application sample e-commerce application which will be deployed use custom terraform provider no and this is the name let me give it a name my pet shop uh, that is the name i want to keep description i can give uh, a simple e-commerce shop for pet food this is the name of this uh, in my tenancy terraform version will be used to one next so name of the database name will be i can give any name let's say uh, skillpedia i can give my own name use always free eligible resources you show advanced option you will see auto generate private public key uh, or you can use in transit encryption so i don't want these any of these options next so this is the summary of what it is going to do i am not going to apply right now so before you apply it is going to create the resource and then uh, you will plan and you will apply so we'll see those actions also plan and apply first let's uh, let uh, this resource manager create the template uh, create the resource for us so this will create a stack where now you have the options of planning and applying it and destroying it so first step obviously is what plan what is the name you want to give to this plan so pet shop plan i'm giving a meaningful name pet shop plan and click on plan advanced option if you want to see here uh, detailed log level if you want to see that maximum number of parallel operations so this is the uh, parameters which you can supply now this planning will create the complete flow what you did in when you execute the command terraform plan on your existing tf so a lot of terraforms are available here all those terraforms will be uh, used and to create a workable plan by this resource manager so because it is a fully managed service so uh, and you can want to configure download it i can show you because i downloaded the configuration and I'll show you this will be downloaded and I'll extract it and show you and then it will provision this terraform and it is done and the planning part is already done wonderful I can download this plan and this is the uh, same thing initializing the plugins finding the plugins and executing those planning you see the plan part you see only the plans 
so this is a huge set of uh, terraform which are uh, you know uh, uh, parsed by this resource manager and once uh, everything is done you when you are good you can apply it so let's apply and let's provision it go back to the stack and you apply it so give it a name final pet shop this is the name uh, I am giving automatically approved or you want uh, this plan to be approved I don't need because I have already planned so I can use that also and I can automate because I already created a plan so I can use the existing plan to approve it because my plan was successful so I can execute exist I can use my existing plan to approve it and apply it now we will create the e-commerce complete uh, database instance installation of packages images application deployment everything will be done by this uh, and this will take uh, five seven minutes OCI resource manager you'll understand the building blocks of what I discussed after this lesson you should be able to describe the basic components of the resource manager benefits of resource manager prepare terraform files for resource manager and see the demo which we have already started resource manager is uh, infrastructure resource manager from Oracle cloud is used to manage your infrastructure resources using Terraform. You, developers can use it, architects and uh, IT ops team can use it. Compute, storage, network, in fact all resources can be managed by this resource manager. The benefit, as we know uh, the benefits of Terraform, automate and standardize your infrastructure and easily replicate the environments deep integration with the OCI platforms and its services seamlessly manage state files and improve team collaboration the state files which you could see they were named and you can open any state file and investigate fully managed service for Terraform engine from OCI you only pay for the underlying compute, storage, network or any other resource, not by the service, not for the service. You can think of resource manager as a Terraform as a service for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Resources. Once you have your Terraform files ready and your variable files adjusted for the resource manager, you can start sending stacks and executing jobs. So what is a stack? We created a stack first. Stack represents a set of OCI resources you want to create in a compartment. Each stack has a configuration which is a set of Terraform files that specify the resources you want to manage together using the resource manager. This is the same thing what you have created in each sequence of the lab assignment. You copied related Terraforms in one directory along with the provider.tf. Job represents a request to take Terraform action on the stack. Resource manager provides three job type plan, apply, and destroy. These are nothing but three Terraform commands. Now you know because you have been executing them. To use the resource manager, you must have required OCI identity and access management permissions. These are some of the examples. For example, allow group group name to manage ORM stack in tenancy, ORM jobs in tenancy. So here, dev admin XYZ uh, is a developer group is able to read stacks and execute jobs except to destroy only within a specific compartment. So we can have this fine-grained policy also. Allow group dev XYZ to use ORM jobs in compartment XYZ where this condition is uh, not equal to destroy. This is a fine-grained policy to restrict a user to run Terraform jobs uh, you know all Terraform job apart from uh, destroy you cannot destroy but you can create and do that with the resource manager all that is required is OCI identity and access management permissions you can omit the user OCID private key fingerprint and tenancy OCID from the uh, this provider configuration which we did in our local setup well, because when you are using uh, resource manager you are right on the OCI so you don't need anything uh, uh, for authentication so you are omitting that thing 
so this is the open source oci provider this is resource manager so when we are working with open source or the local system which we are configuring right now so you provide these details remember that tenancy oci id user oci id fingerprint and all that so when you are working with resource manager you don't specify all these things you specify only the region compartment id and oci and it is fetch everything that's it so because you are on the oci itself so you don't have to provide the rest of the details otherwise it's the same thing nothing different resource manager gives you possibility to enter extra variables to help with your deployment here's an example variable region region name compartment ocid compartment ocid and these variables are declared in the same stack section on the left hand side panel you will see the variables let's take a look on these variables from that panel so our stack is still under progress here i was talking about the variables oh successfully initialized i think it is already initialized let me refresh sometime i just have to refresh it it is initialized successfully but initialized successfully means in progress the rest of the part is in progress yeah it's still in progress so i was talking about the variables here you can see the variables so whatever the variables are configured or what all extra variables you want to you can specify the variables here the key and the value right now it is going on let's go back to the stacks and let's click on the stack and here we can see the variables so this was success, succeeded this is going on right now so uh, let it finish first i think we cannot use the variable let's try let's wait so this is terraform in action and these are the variable used by my terraform compartment ocid region tenancy ocid and autonomous database name if i click on edit variables i can see the edit variables action next go back here we have uh, show advanced options and these are the variables we are talking about encrypt using oci vault kms then node count two nodes will be deployed advanced resource option enable oci digital assistant so these are um, where are the other variables we can use other variables also uh, these are the only variables available here for this time being yeah and this is what is going on right now in our case so let's see the status of the stack i think it is done succeeded wow cool so now when it is succeeded we can go to the stack details page and here you see the application information when you click on application information you will get the url click on this url it will take you to the e-commerce shop bat gateway it was deployed so uh, because i tried it yesterday i could see that so probably still working let us wait otherwise i'll check the uh, the uh, subnet and the portal uh, you know the port number configuration i'll see because yesterday i took the screenshot everything was working today i don't see that very surprising we'll give some time to it this is application specific error so i think i should give time and i should be able to get it after some time where oh yeah this one correct this is also bad gateway the same thing bad gateway means uh, some uh, some issue with the application fine yesterday i could see that and you will see the screenshot in my uh, lab assignment i executed it yesterday only i can destroy it now and i'll try it again no issues i'm destroying it this will destroy let's continue so you can supply the variable names and this is what the sequence of steps is first you define configuration create terraform configuration for resources this is same thing what you have done write optional terraform modules create a zip file containing all your terraform files avoid supplying confidential information in your configuration file like passwords and ssh keys step number 2 create a stack the way we did it so stack represents a set of resources you want to manage within your compartment each stack maps to a terraform configuration file and a terraform state file so this is what you can configure with the key variables and the values 
and the third run the terraform job job is ter is a terraform action executed against a stack job action include plan apply and destroy same thing what we have worked with so what is summary it's why it's so easy to understand that is nothing but a uh, same set of files what you have been practicing compressing them uploading them on the resource manager and let resource manager handle everything for you resource manager execution the first step is plan it will pass the terraform configurations and return an execution plan for the affected oci resources so that's what when you, when you execute plan so review the execution plan update the stack if everything is fine then uh, you can go to apply which will uh, the resource manager modify the stack based on the results of the plan job that means you run the apply optional you review the terraform fi uh, file and then destroy the stack when you are you want to destroy the resources and this is what i have done menu resource manager stack create stack so we did that we filled into the details there were many options here in create stack now this is old screenshot now we have multiple options you see that select the target compartment name and description upload your terraform zip file enter the variables and click create this will create the stack so now the objective for you would be you have example files you have the provider.tf you have all the environment variables set in that and definitely whatever you have seen that you can create them you can compress those as a zip file and you can use a resource manager to create the resources for which you have already created the terraforms select the check stack you created and plan on the terraform action menu give it a name and click on the plan button then you apply this is what i have demonstrated you apply and it will apply that and will provision the resources defined in the configuration files when you are done you destroy under the job you can see the job history and state of the actions finally when you are finished with your work you destroy your stack so you'll see everything what you have created like if you created instances you'll see the instances if you have deployed a e-commerce portal you can see those also so therefore now it is for us that we create some resources using resource manager as well and not the complete uh, instances or other features because we have only limited thing so probably we can try with the instance and vc and other resources for which we have the quota so finally resource demo uh, this is the uh, logs so for each job download the logs terraform configuration and terraform state files in other words you can download whatever resource files means whatever the tf files were created by this you can download all of them that's all for this session thank you very much team